I'm here because I have dealt with insurance companies and I know they do not care about people's health care and that single payer is the only option that is really going to provide health care for everybody. I think everybody should be covered. I think that the insurance companies, the pharmaceutical companies are making way too much money and it's just all coming out of our pockets. People are really getting poor health care in this country. Uh, considering what we're paying, it's just unconscionable. Single payer would be like Medicare for everybody. Uh, it's not socialization any more than our police departments or our fire departments are socialized. It's simply provided health care where everybody pays in and everyone is treated without discrimination, cuts out the paperwork, cuts out the hassles, uh, cuts out people being denied because they don't have uh, the right insurance or they haven't met that criterion for their insurance. It, health insurance is so expensive and then to find out that it doesn't cover half of what you need uh, and what it does cover it also, always has provisions, limits, uh, you know, criteria, etc. It's a big game. It's trying to keep the people sick so that they can stay in business. What Obama is going to pass has already been tried. It's failed ten times in the states. It's been, it's been tried in other countries. We know it's going to fail. This movement's just con going to continue on. It's just a continuation of the civil rights movement. That's why we quote Dr. Martin Luther King of all forms of inequality, injustice in health is the most shocking and most humane. That's why we picked the Leadership Conference for Guaranteed Health Care. It's an homage to the, to the Leadership Conference for Civil Rights. And this is an extension of the, and that was convened to do one thing, pass uh, the Civil Rights Act, the Leadership Conference for Guaranteed Health care is the same thing. It's, it's convened to do one thing, pass single-payer guaranteed health care for everyone. This is a civil rights movement. And whatever Obama is going to do, we know is going to fail. We have to just continue on. It's not going to do anything. And our struggle is just going to continue. And they're going to eventually have to do the right thing and actually pass single-payer health care. is the only bill that will actually invoke by law what Obama said, that health care is a human right. No, single payer, it eliminates the insurance companies who are in between the providers and the consumers and just taking out a big profit and providing no service. They absolutely deny service. Repeatedly, I see that they don't authorize things based on whether a patient needs them. They authorize it on whether they can get away with not authorizing it and saving money. It has nothing to do with what's needed for the patient, and I've seen that over and over again. The main thing about single payer to me is that it's going to give, I believe, health care is a right, not a, not a privilege, and single payer will get us to implement that right. That's, that's why I'm for single payer. America is run by lobbyists, and it's run by, it's not, a, it's not a truly democratic republic as advertised. We have uh, the influence of uh, money, in this case it's the insurance companies. This demonstration should be organized, should have been organized by the trade unions. You should have uh, the uh, steel workers down here, the auto workers, the uh, SEIU, and the AFSCME, and all of them down here demanding single payer <laughs> health care. But they are all got their wagons tied to the Democratic Party. And like Dick Durbin said, the Democratic Party basically is owned by the insurance companies. So it's a, it's a non-starter. I'm glad we're having this demonstration. We need more of them. But you need a mass movement fighting for national health care. And um, some of the organizations that should be leading that are not leading it. Well, the insurance companies, they have, they have big lobbying <laughs> systems, and uh, uh, it's surprising, I guess, in some ways, how many of our um, representatives and uh, uh, congresspeople, our senators and so on, get lots of money from uh, health insurance companies to uh, help them win their elections. So I'm age 79, going on 80, <clears throat> and of course I have uh, Medicare and uh, Social Security, so plus uh, pensions from when I worked, which so far have not been cut. So I'm relatively well off, I think, and yet I'm still concerned about people. Uh, I feel like I'm better off than, than younger people who don't have any health insurance.
I'm a retired steel worker and I work for a place called LTV Steel. When they went bankrupt, while the banks got their money and the people who put the company in bankruptcy got $4 million signing bonuses, the workers who had already retired lost all their health care. People who were under 62 then had nothing. Their pensions were cut by a third or more and they lost their health care. I know of people who died, who died because they could not afford their medication. So they would take half doses or they wouldn't get their prescriptions. So that's industrial murder committed by MetLife and all the scumbags that support those insurance companies in Congress. That's why we need national health care. Single-payer health care is not, by any stretch of the imagination, socialized medicine. It is not socialized medicine. The VA is socialized medicine because the, not only is the ins is VA insurance, but also the providers are all government employees. And, and with single-payer, the providers are still going to be individual privately owned hospitals, doctors, uh, 501c3 hospitals, non-for-profits, they're still private. And there's a misconception. Sure, our taxes are going to do the funding, the money's going to be a, a public funding, but the providers are still private. And so it's not by any stretch of the imagination socialized medicine. No one should be afraid of that. Another problem is that they equate, they equate health care with medical treatment, and these are not the same thing. If we had a health care system, people would be paying attention to their health before they even got to the clinic, to the doctor, the hospital. Uh, that would make a big difference. Uh, realize that, the, you know, we can do a lot better for ourselves by eating right than by supporting the pharmaceutical companies, uh, because they make out quite handsomely, thank you. One, one woman said to me, he says, she says, there's all old people here. Well, she kind of exaggerated. And I says, well, we all have to take care of ourselves, because this is a 30, 40 year fight. We've got to be around 30, 40 years from now to keep fighting for these progressive things.